a bit of moosh. Welcome to Hanoi! So we are in the beautiful city of Hanoi. And we're on the train stream, which has been our first place that we've kind of come to explore. Today we're going on our biggest walk into the west of the city and going to check out some of the more historical areas, the war museums, the presidential palace, things like that. Okay, update on the presidential palace. We can't get into it. Demi obviously forgot to have her shoulders covered. Out today, the shoulders. I don't want to say you've ruined the day. I've ruined you, the day. And you definitely, you definitely dampened it. So if you don't have your shoulders covered, you haven't lost everything. Come and have a look at it still because you've got this fantastic view. about 7,000 for the bus each, which is really good. Saves you like 45 minutes of walking. Um, and yeah, it's really simple to get. We got a number 50 bus um, and it drops us off right here. Something tells me this is a good <laughs> photography spot to come to. My honest opinion of Hanoi is we've come from some pretty busy cities and this takes it to another level. It's the busiest um, place we've been by like a factor of like 10,000. And I think if you were to spend longer than maybe four or five days here, 
it might start to get a little bit overwhelming for you and we've kind of reached the point where we're ready for somewhere a little bit quieter that was almost a scooter crash point proven it's just hectic here it's crazy chaotic so full of energy and character and noises and smells and things that are just it's just like an overwhelm of the senses like it's so cool to see but like the heat combined with the yeah. millions of scooters and cars it's mega overwhelming yeah. you can come here and do the food's incredible people are incredible the place is incredible the culture is amazing so come and do that come do the street photography come try the food but just be prepared to maybe stay like four or five days and then get out here. But it's our last free day of being here. And then tomorrow we have a, a tour to Halong Bay. Really excited to go there as well, because I think that's gonna give us a different sort of perspective on Hanoi. So yeah, last day in the city, Halong Bay tomorrow, and then we're off to the hills. So after a very busy and hectic day, uh, we thought we'd come and chill out, try something a little bit different in the evening. So we're going to the water puppet show. It was a hundred dong, uh, which is about three pounds sixty. I definitely recommend doing that. Yeah, it was really bizarre in all the right ways. Very now we're going to go try some food we haven't tried before, which is pronounced. Bun cha. So we've got meat, noodles, and then tons of pile of green, I'm still sweating. Come kayaking, Halong Bay. And fun fact, every time we kayak, we fall out because I have to <laughs> do all the fun, rowing. Definitely not a fun I fact. have to do all the rowing. No, he doesn't. Last, honestly, last time we went kayaking, we got swept out to sea. And so I'm slightly traumatized. <laughs> kayaking in Halong Bay. This is definitely a bucket list moment. <laughs> If you're in Hanoi, you've got to do this. So we are beginning the 500 steps up and 500 steps down to the top of Tea Top Island. There should be insane views up here.
haven't been saying long. <laughs> Look, Pete, how much you're struggling. Okay. That was intense. Good end to the trip. Great day. Bye bye.